Are you ready to create your own children's storybook by using Canva and ChatGPT? Then you came to the right place. I'm going to show you how you can create storybooks like this one right here. It's easy, it's fun, and it's absolutely free. So just follow my steps and watch this video until the very end. The first step is to create a short children's story. And we will use the ChatGPT website for this. I will leave the website link in the description of this video so you can open it from there. I'll write something like, Write me a short story for kids, age 3 to 6, which will learn them something useful. You can write additional information which you'll want the story to contain, like add a lion or a tiger in the story, make the story funny, make the story interesting, and so on. ChatGPT will then give us a fun little story, which we will use to create our storybook. You can repeat this process as many times as you want to and create tens, if not hundreds, of stories this way. If you are happy with the story which ChatGPT has created, just copy the story and paste it into Google Docs. Step number two is to open the official Canva website and then write Storybook in here. This will give us a bunch of free templates which we can select and use. But I recommend that you select this Create Blank option because that will open a fresh design which we can customize to our liking. Let's first select the color of our storybook by tapping on the design and then click on this color option right here. Select a bright color which you think they'll like. The next thing which we'll need is a little frame. So let's tap on this elements section at the left side of your screen. After that, scroll down until you find this frames section. I'm going to expand this and we have a wide variety of frames from which we can choose from. I recommend that you use the blob frames because they'll look great in the storybook. I will then go over to the Google Docs and copy the first sentence in my story, then paste it in my design. This is going to be the start of the story, so put this somewhere at the top. And you can then customize the text to your liking. Select a different color if you need to. Select a font, which is fun and interesting to the child. And I recommend that you type comic in the search bar. And then select some of these fonts. They will look great for your storybook. After I finish with page number one, I'll add other pages to my storyline and also add the frames for each page. Make sure that you add different frames to each page. It will make the storybook more fun and dynamic. So I'm quickly going to add around 10 pages for my book and I will also add the frames. Now that I'm finished with this step, I'll hop over to Google Docs and then add other sentences from the story. So I'll copy the second sentence and then add it to my second page. After that, copy the third sentence and paste it into the third page of your storybook and so on. It is now time to add little animal and other graphics to our storybook. And this will add great details to our book. So locate the elements section and for example, if you have a lion as a character in your story, just type lion and then tap on graphics. Canva will now give us a lot of different graphics and stickers, which we can add to our design. So take your time here, select the one which you like the most, and then add at least one element per page. Just don't add too much elements because we want our book to be fun, simple, and interesting. When you add the element to the page and position it, you'll want to select it one more time and then change the transparency of the image by clicking here. Set the value of the transparency anywhere between 20 and 60%. By doing this, the new elements and stickers won't be distracting to the child, but they will make our book look and feel a lot better. So I will keep adding different graphics of animals, trees, and other fun things which children like. So you can take your time here until you make the perfect page Step number three is to generate images that are related to our story, and we will use Canva's free application to do this. So what I'll do is to find and open the apps section, which is located at the left side of your screen. 
and then scroll down until you find this Magic Media option. This app is going to generate high quality images which we will then use for our storybook. Our job here is to add a couple of words which will describe what kind of photo we want to generate. You'll want to add the words which are mentioned in the sentence. So let's say I have a lion mentioned here. I'll type lion in here and make sure that you select the playful style for the photo because we'll want to get that cartoon effect for the photo. So add the photo which you like the most in your frame and you can also add additional elements over that. The third page of my storybook tells us about his friend which is a tiny monkey asking Leo the lion if she could have a bite. Let's type a tiny monkey and her friend lion chatting. Or you can type something similar until you get the desired result. If this magic media tool doesn't work for some reason and you're unable to generate images, then you'll want to use google.com or use another free app that allows us to generate AI images. But this magic media tool in Canva works perfectly for me. So I will just add the photos to the frames in my storybook and follow the story. So analyze the sentence, type in a couple of words, generate the photos with the playful style selected, and then add it to the corresponding frame. So we had now created our story, and there is one last thing that we need to do in order to make the pages flip. Tap on this share option located at the top right corner of your screen. Then tap on these three dots to see all the options, and scroll down and find this simple booklet flip option. This will maybe ask you to log in with your Google account. So do that in order to connect Canva with this app and create a flipping animation for your storybook. You will then be able to flip the pages and enjoy your new storybook. If you found this video useful and you would want more similar tutorials like this one, then please make sure to subscribe to App Tutor, and I will see you in the next video.